Welcome to the NCAA Baseball Regionals, presented by Capital One. Here in Fayetteville, we have reached the end, just about the regional final, Arkansas and Missouri State. Of Kevin Copps, the redshirt freshman out of Sugarland, Texas. See great numbers so far this year. Tax. Pitching depth is going to be smaller. Steinmetz to stay rifles it to Cole. Out of the tournament. Got him down low. Cook picks it up, fires inside, and that'll do it. Have the exact same order that we saw against Oral Roberts. Against the Razorbacks last time that both of these teams advanced there. And Cole rips one opposite way into the gap. He's going for second. The throw from Steinmetz, not even close. This ball game started at 9-10 local time. And this crowd is already electric. Having that third starter. There's a base hit into right center. Cole got a late jump, but he's going to score easily. Spanberger the hero for now. And the Razorbacks take the early lead. Base hit by Bonfield. Spanberger with a turn. He'll hold it second. And this couldn't have started any better for Arkansas. Expanded to the uh, A-10. That's off of Knight's glove. Berger on the bare hand. Just in time to get Fletcher. Especially how fast the game's being played. Biggers into left. One run scores. Here comes Bonfield. Hot on his heels. And he touches home plate. Fall camp, to be completely honest with you. Strikeout number two as Graham goes down swinging. Here's the senior Jefferson right back through the box. And Cops gets out of the way. Back to back hits as Duffy takes one the opposite way off of Cops. I don't think it matters because you have to be so mentally locked in. Nice play, Shaddy. That's as good as it gets on a hard ground ball by Drew Millis. Looked it right into the glove. Now they go to Cops. Grant Cook demolishes this one to left field, and it's out of the reach of Jefferson, and rolls all the way to the wall. The Arkansas catcher pulls in his second with a stand-up double, and I think it's safe to say that Grant Cook is firmly out of his skin. He's just the wrong mindset in your head. You can, you play it. Cole rips one into right, and this is an absolute nightmare for Austin and the Bears sure but certainly seems like it as that one is ripped down the left field line going to first perfect Terry he'll hold up right there but that's a leadoff single for the Bears here. that's sent out towards right Cole on the run and he can't make the play it's under his glove Privet is going to third he's gonna get there and sliding into second base under Steinmetz with a double. Kenny Chadwick comes out of the bullpen. So far this season, you see strikeout to innings pitch ratio, very good. He's somebody that... First pitch, hammered out to right. Cole's got it, but one run comes in. Now Steinmetz scores. One swing in the bat by Paulson, and the Bears have cut the deficit in half. The exception, not the norm. 10-15 on a Sunday night to see this kind of crowd this into a baseball game. Down the line. Fair. Paulson's going to third and a hold up by Graham at first. Something to do with the fact that he got pulled early on. That gets underneath the glove and through the legs of Cook and it's 4-3. So Weston Rogers comes in. Rogers, the left-hander, at a nearby Springdale, Arkansas. You're starting to think about if you tie it up 4-4, you're going to see some action. This is over towards Biggers on the first pitch. And Rogers comes in and does his job. Left center field. And it's under the glove of Steinmetz. Biggers is having himself a night when they need him the most. Can't find the strike zone. 
There's only one out in the third, so we're not done with that third inning yet. Oh, what a stop. Millis making sure another run doesn't come in on that. Ball four. Paul Evans is not going to stick with Tyler McAllister any longer. He walks in a run. I don't like how he's so far off the base. Coles flies one out to right. Duffy tracks and makes the play. Arkansas is going to score again as Shaddy crosses home plate. And the Razorbacks have two here in the third. Hey now, sawed him off over to first, and Paulson touches up to get his counterpart Spanberg. Breaking out the hats that you know aren't the best looking things. You don't like those? Hey. And it looks like the rain has finally started to fall here in Fayetteville. It is coming down, and this is got him on the outside corner. There's Weston Rogers coming through when Arkansas needs him. And they're just baseball fans and they just love the Razorbacks. That's over to second, under Shaddy's glove, into right field. Stopping at third, Jack Duffy, first and third with two outs now. He's holding a runner on, gives him a huge four hole. And they're going to bring the players off the field. The last thing that anybody wanted to see tonight at Bomb Stadium. And it has been about an hour and 37 minutes since we have thrown a pitch. But then the good news, the tarp came off. We're going to turn to Matt Cronin, a proven entity out of the pen. This will be Matt's 15th game. You already see that one, five, nine. And that's out to right. Playable for Cole. And you would have thought that the Razorbacks just won the game. This crowd has been awesome all night long, all morning long now. Central, and now it's 1240 Central. Fletcher rips that into center field, and a diving catch by Steinmetz. 3-2 is on the outside corner. The super, the super regional, so the fans, you know, they give you that energy. So I think they're in there. I think they're looking too much. Dialed it up to 93. We're going to call in sick for it tomorrow. Oh, and Cronin slipped. That's something you worry about with all the rain and, and moisture. I know that it was support on it, and when he lands it, you know, your, your foot is going to pivot, but if it just doesn't have this, you got it. That's eight straight balls by Cronin. Barrett Lowski is going to come into the game for the Razorbacks, who has kind of fallen out of favor with Dave Van Horn and, and Wes Johnson. This is over towards third, under the glove of Gates. Here comes Graham around. Here's Arledge's throw. It's off the line. Maybe would have had him. The throw to third, not there either, as Jefferson advances. Pitch, given another free run. Got him. Bullpen day, or even Tuesdays, their bullpen day. So you're just moving that one day up, but you're not looking for somebody that can give you multiple, multiple innings. That's out towards left, but jammed him just a bit, and the catch made. Two outs and two strikes in order to keep us going. This is Lowski with a bare hand, shoveled it over and under the glove of Chad Spanberger doing on his own, going out there throwing, especially to be a pitcher. Now sometimes as a hitter, you can get that. Did you see? This is over in the hole, under Bigger's glove. Privatera had to hold up. Arledge's throw, airmailed Cook. Both runners move up. Arledge is at Tacolini, the next to get the call from Dave Van Horn. This is the sixth pitcher used by the Razorbacks. Cops started. Chadwick, Rogers, Cronin, Lowski, Tacolini. We are running out of names. That was left over the plate. It dunks in front of Arledge and gets past him. Missouri State takes the lead. Ironman into second. And here come the Bears. Off to 
Biggers thought about third, but he'll go to first. Do you like that decision? I do. Smart play, especially last night, that slugfest, just trading punches. This is to Shaddy. He'll get up and collect himself to throw out Alex Jefferson. From Missouri State. Well, Arkansas been, can't find outs. It's been so huge. Yeah. And that will get down and right for a leadoff single. Feels it's like cool. it because it's 147, although it is dark out. And that miss. You have three of your best arms out there, and that's something Arkansas can't say. That shot through the right side of base hit. Spanberger coming around third. The throw from Duffy. Gets past the catcher, Millis. We're tied again in Fayetteville. Here's Jack Duffy to face Dominic Tacalini, and it'll start out with the ground ball to Biggers. Long throw. Yes, sir. As Duffy tumbles to the turf. One, two, three. So we were done by midnight. Sent out towards left and deep. Jefferson won't make the play. It'll hop off of the wall. Arledge cruising into second with a one out two bagger. That is a slow chopper in front. Millis just makes the play to get Cole. Got him upstairs. And the go ahead run. Missed. Lead off man on for the Bears. Got him. Tipped it into the glove of Cook. Base hit left side. And the inning continues for Missouri State. Jake Rindle is into this game, the ever dependable right hander for the Razorbacks. He threw earlier today. Base, 7-7, seven, seven, top eight. And that's right to Biggers. He'll flip to second, but not in time. Hogs got away with one there. Ball and a strike on Graham. And that will be a little shallow blooper. It's into center field. Steinmetz is going to score. Fletcher going to third. And it's not in time. Burgers in there sliding. And it is a 8 7 lead. The rain starting to pick up even harder. Got him on the inside corner, strike three. And Alex Jefferson can only think of what could have been as he looks through the torrential rain that is falling in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Yeah, he's really coming down. And we'll see if Ramona Mendariz keeps this thing. Arkansas dug out there just erupting. I mean, they, they're saying we had to play through this. Dave Van Horn is upset exactly because it's not even. I mean, the Razorbacks have to pitch through that. They had to play defense. And now Dave Van Horn is saying, why not Missouri State having to do the exact same thing? Uh, I think that's they a... still haven't put the tarp on the field. A wild and wacky sixth game of the regional. The regional final is on the line. And we're still trying to figure out whether or not we're going to keep playing. They're calling Missouri State onto the field. Stretch, and you're right, it doesn't have the feel that it's 2 o'clock until you all of a sudden look at the clock. That's Pope Fair down the right field line. Here goes Bonfield to second. Duffy fires it in, and Bonfield's going to hold up. It was a pinch runner for Matt Birch. Giving a little bit more speed to Arkansas. Fastball or changeup, that allows it to slip out of the hand. Base hit right side for Dominic Fletcher. Birch is going to test the arm of Duffy and the throw. No, not in not time on the relay from Pivotera. Tying run on third. This is a slow roller to second. We are tied in the eighth. out of the bullpen, Jake Fromson comes into this game, the lowest whip in the country coming in to the tournament at 0.72. Beautifully stopped by Millis, but he can't pick it up, and Fletcher moves to third. 
Infield in with one out. Oh. And it got all the way past Millis, and Arkansas comes back to take the lead in the eighth. Dominic Fletcher followed it up. Walked to Shaddy right there. After the Fletcher single, made it first and third. Good battle between Fromson and Gates. Driven! Deep right field! And gone! Sky high, but not deep to right. Fletcher calls off Cole. Over to short. Biggers. Two away. We have passed the 3 a.m. threshold. I bet there's still three, 4,000 people here. Absolutely. Privatera keeps the game going and shoots the gap in left center. He'll hold it first base, though. You don't want to make that last out at second in a three-run game. That's drilled to deep right field. A look by Cole, and it's gone! Steinmetz leaves the ball yard, and Missouri State cuts it to one. will try to get the final out for the Razorbacks and lock down the save for Arkansas. And the few thousand that have stuck around at Bomb Stadium all the way to 310 in the AM rise to their feet. ball games you'll ever see in the NCAA tournament. The Razorbacks come from behind scoring four in the bottom of the eighth.